There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. Sit back for the next hour while we control everything that you see and hear. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. The Outer Limits was a science fiction TV anthology series which ran from 1963 to 1965. It was written and created by Leslie Stevens and Joseph Stefano and featured some of the greatest actors, writers, and directors of the time, uh, including, but not limited to, Harlan Ellison, um, Jerry Saul, um, Meyer Delinsky, um, Saul, uh, John D.F. Black, uh, Clifford Simak, and uh, directors including uh, Gerd Oswald, Byron Haskin, Vincent McKeevity, um some really terrific uh, actors. And um, my per each one was a, an hour-long science fiction episode. Uh, they were not continuous, uh, except for one two-parter called uh, The Inheritors. Um, but uh, my particular favorite is uh, the second episode of the sec the fifth episode i'm sorry of the second series harlan ellison's brilliant demon with a glass hand starring robert culp and arlene martell and abraham abraham so far uh, for which he won the 1966 writers guild award for uh, outstanding uh, <coughs> writing on an anthology series any length uh, and that award is very well deserved i think it's the best hour of television written by anybody ever it's got everything. It's got romance. It's got tragedy. It's got mystery. It's got action. It's got uh, time travel and aliens. Uh, it's got a comedy. It's got a tragedy. Uh, all within an hour, and I think only Ellison could do that uh, and do it brilliantly. Um, funny story, he apparently met uh, Robert Culp on the set and said, I wrote this episode just for you, and Culp's answer was, who are you? <laughs> he didn't know who Ellison was. Uh, but uh, they became very quick friends after that and remained so for their entire lives. Um, terrific episode. Uh, some of my other favorites, I'm not going to list all of them because there are 49 episodes, but uh, I'm going to list uh, some of the ones I like, sort of my top ten. I also loved uh, Ellison's other episode, Soldier, which is the one that uh, he sued Gail Ann Hurd and uh, James Cameron over uh, for their basically ripping it off for the Terminator. And if you watch the episode, you'll see that it really is a ripoff. Uh, it's basically the same story. Soldier from the Future is accidentally transported into our present, the present of the time, 1963, and uh, has to cope with the differences between his world and our world. And there's a very uh, sort of a shocking ending that I won't spoil for anybody who hasn't seen it. Um, and... Uh, I also like the episode Wolf 359, uh, starring Patrick O'Neill, about a man who creates a, an entire alien planet inside a laboratory, and uh, there are some unforeseen consequences of his doing that. Um, Keeper of the Purple Twilight with Warren Stevens and Gail Kobe is a very interesting, strange episode about a man who is trying to work on an um, advanced weapon. He can't come up with the last two equations, and he's becoming very frustrated and an alien uh, offers him that he will give him the answer to his equations in exchange for uh, giving him his emotions. And he said, you can do that? And he said, yes, we can do that. And he exchanges emotions, you know, agrees to it, and that has unforeseen consequences too. Um, another episode I like, The Duplicate Man, was the one that was based on Goodnight, Mr. James by Clifford Simak, uh, stars Ron Rendell and the Gorgeous. I'm sorry, I know I use that word a lot, but in this case, it's absolutely true. The absolutely stunning Constance Towers, who I think she's so beautiful under the word gorgeous, it should have her picture. Uh, just breathtaking. Like the kind of woman you literally you look at and you go, <gasps> you, you can't breathe for a second. And, um, you know, she does it for fantastic to actually, a terrific actress as well. Um, and uh, that's a really interesting episode uh, about a guy who. Uh, a scientist who, against the law, snuck in a, a very dangerous alien to Earth, and now he has to face the consequences. And he's such a coward that he actually creates a duplicate of himself, which is also illegal, to kill this creature because he can't do it. He's basically a wuss. And uh, there are some 
very uh, interesting consequence to that too. His wife becomes very disenchanted with him, with him and um, he has to make amends. Uh, again, a very terrific uh, episode and a very well-written script. Um, one of the others I like is uh, The Mice with Henry Silva. And uh, it's about a prisoner who's offered, uh, they'll commute his sentence if he agrees to be transported to another planet as an experiment. And things don't go right, uh, as you, know, you would expect. Uh, also, the aliens are lying about why they really want to come send an ambassador to Earth. Um, and there's a very creepy alien. One of the things they did, each week they had a quote-unquote bear, and the bear was either an alien or a monster. They weren't always human, and like in um, Specimen Unknown, there were killer plants from outer space. Uh, but they were usually a guy in a suit, and those were pretty some pretty good suits. The one in the mice is really creepy and awful looking. Um, also, sometimes they're not big. Like the uh, in the Invisibles, the creatures are small, but they're these kind of crab monster things that attach themselves to your spine and take over your will. And, you know, that's kind of a frightening thing as well. Uh, episode Obit is really good. It predicted some of uh, today's surveillance society. Um, uh, other, you know, terrific episodes. I just rewatched uh, one of them called The Form Forms of Things Unknown, which was actually a backdoor pilot for another series that was going to be called The Unknown. It has, features different uh, music. It has no intro or outro. And it features different music from Dominic Frontieri, which, because the series wasn't picked up, he later reused for the music for The Invaders. Um, very interesting episode starring uh, Vera Miles and Barbara Rush and... Um, uh, David McCallum and the wonderful associate Rick Hardwick. Uh, and I won't give away the plot to that, but it's, it's really interesting and twisted. Um, there's a little bit of an implied, uh, some people say it's more than implied, lesbian relationship between Vera Miles and Barbara Rush's characters. Um, and I think that was kind of interesting because that would have been a fairly early uh, representation. Um, the Man Who Was Never Born, starring Martin Landau, about... A man who ultimately affected the future in a very negative way and gets a chance to, uh, a second chance to correct it. And he does, but it has unforeseen circumstances. And that stars Martin Lando and the uh, beautiful Shirley Knight. Um, and uh, uh, again, a very well written, very well uh, done, and it is a very interesting, kind of chilling premise. Do Not Open Till Doomsday is one of the most absurd. Uh, ones in the thing. It has a really goofy looking monster, but a very frightening uh, story. And there's also kind of a weird sort of psychosexual um, subtext to the whole thing, which is, is very creepy, kind of reminiscent of uh, the relationship between Gloria Swanson and the lead character in Sunset Boulevard. Um, something that it's, it's uh, almost like a forbidden sexuality. Uh, interesting and well-written and, and as I said, you know, kind of crazy. The Guests is a really good episode about people who go into this, this weird old mansion with these five strange characters and um, sort of like five characters in search of an exit, but it's not really. It has a very twist, bizarre twist ending. Um, a lot of these episodes had, had twist endings, but that one was I particularly remember being good. Uh, of the 49 episodes of the original series, I really only dislike two or three. I don't particularly care for The Inheritors. I thought it was a little bit sappy and sentimental. I thought Cry of Silence was kind of... It was strange. It's an interesting idea about a, an alien life force, not a life form, but a force, like an electrical force almost that's trying to contact us, and it can't. Uh, it just can't figure out how to do it, and I think that was interesting. Uh, it, it was interesting that it is never resolved, and Eddie Albert did a pretty good acting job in it, but I, I thought it was kind of a weak script. Um, uh, again, of all the, of all the, like I said, of all the 49 episodes, there are really only three or four I don't like. Uh, Behold Eck, I thought was kind of, um, it was an interesting idea about a two-dimensional being trying to interact with a three-dimensional world. I didn't think it came off well. Uh, I also thought the character looked, looked ridiculously silly. Um... But most of them, I thought, were really well done, well directed. Uh, the special effects for the time were really terrific, um, even you know, way above the Twilight Zone, uh, because they put much more attention into the costumes and the monsters. Um, and also the acting was, was really great. Uh, Martin Lando was in two great ones, uh, like I said, uh, The Man Who Was Never Born and The Bellero Shield, which was the one with Sally Kellerman. She just gives a fantastic performance. She was also in another episode, um, uh, The Human Factor, which was, again, a good episode. Um, Overall, just a terrific series, you know, great actors, great stars. Uh, Martin Sheen 
Robert Duvall. Uh, Robert Duvall's episode, The Chameleon, was a really good episode of a guy who's basically just a, a cold-hearted mercenary, and he's asked to uh, infiltrate an alien spacecraft by personally, he has this gift of imitation. He can imitate anybody. He can kind of become somebody else. So he becomes one of these creatures, and he goes inside the ship, and he sort of turns his coat. He, he becomes more sympathetic to them than the humans that are hunting them, and that has uh, uh, an interesting um, moral uh, conundrum that he goes through. Uh, very good episodes. Uh, Fun and Games is a great episode. It's scary, creepy. Uh, there's um, Second Chance is really good uh, about people on a, a spaceship ride that turns into a real spaceship. Uh, that That's interesting. Um, some other, you know, really terrific episodes. I can't list all of them, but I highly recommend the entire, watching the entire series there mostly available, if you're willing to put up with it, you're, they're available on daily motion if you don't mind seeing like 8,000 commercials uh, because they do a commercial like every five minutes and I'm not kidding about that. And that gets very annoying, but they also have high quality transfers. Uh, they're also available on DVD and Blu-ray, of course. So until next week, um, that's it for this week. Until the, we return control of your television to you, until next week when the control voice will take you to the outer limits.